All right, jumping into a league for intensive training shoot. We just finished off all the workouts. Uh, we got like one um, training and in intensive training range. Um, so yeah, we're, we're just jumping in, seeing if we can win the league. I think it's a cool time to check to see how we place. Well, let's jump through. Gonna do Sykes versus Goers, Glories versus us, and Fangs versus Beasts. Should be fun. Nice, Sykes 3-0. And then we're just going to overhead against the Glories, see how we play. So we're going to max pressure. I think max pressure like every single game. I, I think. Oh my gosh, it won't let me change the pressure. What's going on? Okay, my... Mm, this is not good. This is not good. Ah. My controller died. Yeah, my, my controller wasn't working. It was doing that when I started the game, though, too. It kept on, like, shutting off or something. Weird. All right, well, maybe we can fight back. Come on, team. <laughs> 30 seconds. Nah. I mean, there's an argument that we should reset, but we're just going to live with that result. That's a really big shame. Because I, I feel like if we max pressure, we would have won that. I really do. It's all good. Beast first Fang. Should be a Fang's victory. That's what I expect. But yeah, we're going to do overhead then visual. Uh, just alternating. It's crazy because out of all those injuries, it was hard to keep up, but it was only July that was injured. So we, we injured like two or three of their characters. If that had gone on any longer, it would have been really, really beneficial for us. But either way, let's, um, oh, almost went to the tournament. Almost made that mistake. It is Sykes versus Glories, Goers versus Beast, Us versus Fangs. Fang, the Fangs matchup is going to be hard. Glories win 1-0 against Sykes. I mean, that's expected. Now it's Beast versus Goer. Should be a Goer's defeat very easily. Oh, uh, it's visual max pressure. Visual and believe in ourselves. That is what's on the docket. Ooh, Zeb challenges. And Gosna with the ball pushing. If we can get an injury or something like that, that would be extremely beneficial. Gonna be a setup for our guy, Mafuri will claim. It's all good. All good. Because of our previous loss against the Gories, it does feel like a victory is is critical. You know what I mean? Like, just to get the points on the board. Tying this game wouldn't be the worst thing, but I don't think it would help us as much as a victory. That being said, I think once the Gories take on the Fangs, they'll lose both matches, so... I don't know. Maybe the Calculus works out to where that is fine to just tie the game, but... Really want to avoid that if we can. Shami with the interception. That's big. She's got decent-ish morale. So going for a corkscrew would be ideal. She pressure plays passes, but interception is there. Nefe challenges. Nefe unable to steal. And Gazna receiving the ball. 
Ronzo Fangs, an ever-present force, preventing us from, from winning this game. Gosling with the ball, gonna push left side. July challenges. Uh, unable to touch. That's a shame. Maybe Mafuri can injure uh, our guy here. Or even touch our guy. Man, that's a no on both occasions. Pass to Basique. Carrier with the ball. That should be decent. It's not decent. <laughs> it's not decent. It's, cata it's a catastrophe. All right, we might we might be crushed here. The one good thing is we haven't leveled up at all, really. So we have a lot of like ceiling to go, or a lot of room to grow before we hit the ceiling. Um, in my opinion, I don't know what the final numbers are, but I feel like we're we're ready to learn some more. And we'll do if we we'll do training if we um, if we if we lose this league. So if we win intensive training shoot, then we're not going to do training. But if we, you know lose the league and don't get it then training. I don't know, it's kinda how we keep ourselves in balance. We injure one of their players. We're yet to be scored on. We're also yet to score though, so you know, kind of a kind of a tough thing to qualify here. Shammy with a pressure play. No way. We get the goal. Okay, this is This is looking spicy. This is looking spicy. <laughs> This is looking spicy. You can have a seek Ronso past the Gazna. It's beautiful. Shammy with the ball, love it. Pass to Nefe. And Shammy with the ball. If Shammy can get a second goal, that would just be. I mean, that'd be insane. Like, that'd be so good. At the end of the day, if we just hold them off as well, that's kind of okay as well. You know, just keeping that 1-0. They got about a minute 10 left, so more than enough time for them to score, but if we can just, we just keep the pressure on, man. Can we steal? Ooh. And July moves to intercept um, Zondi, which leaves Gazna pretty much free unless they encounter Yuma or Mafuri. Thankfully, Mafuri able to able to save us a little bit there. Okay, Yuri's injured. Interception. No. That is devastating. I don't know if we'll be able to get another goal. And there's no OT, so if, if this is the, the final score, then that just means, you know, one point each. So so the reason this is actually a problem that I think about it is if the Ronso Fangs beat the Gories every time, but we lose to the Gories once, we're gonna play second. Like if we play perfect outside of that. So I'm, I'm, I've got some genuine concerns here. Yeah, that's GG. That's a 1-1. One, one. Um, unable to get the ball back. I mean, even if we got the ball there, I don't know if we would have scored because of time. But we'll say it's 1-1 one one against the Fangs. Unless the Glories... Ah, this gets weird. Unless the Glories beat the Fangs somehow. But then we beat the Glories. I don't know. What well, It's going to get complicated. At the end of the day, all you can really be sure of is it's going to get complicated, like with the with the bracket, and uh, well, not the bracket, but with the uh, with the positioning. Sykes versus Gold Wings, Goers versus Bangs, Gorys versus Beast. So we're just going to overhead here. Very easy solution. If we lose against the Sykes, that is, or even tie, 
Like that is actually the all-time low. <laughs> with who with how we are, like as a team, like there's no way. No way we should lose this. Like, come on. No. Don't do this to me, game. Don't do this to me. <laughs> oh, that'll be so that'll be so unfortunate. There it is, two to one. We claim our victory. Barely, but we claim it. Goers versus Fangs. If the Goers win against the Fangs, that would be ideal. It would also like throw everything out the window when it comes to like anything that makes sense. Sadly, the Goers cannot win against the Fangs, as we saw there. And then this should be a glorious victory. We're almost setting up the Glories to win the whole league. If we if we knock down the, the Fangs when we can, and Glories can eke out a win against the Fangs or a tie at least once, they might... Well, I say that now, but Beasts and Glories tie. Maybe that's the answer. We just need all the top-tier teams to tie, and we'll win games. Right now, we're 1-1-1, one, 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 so 1-1, one, one, lost one, tied one. Again, I really think that Guado Gori's match was winnable, if not tieable. If I just was able to apply pressure. Had a little bit of a control malfunction, but I, I don't mind. I don't know. I have an autosave right before the league. I could have reset, but... I don't know. I, I don't, uh... I don't know. I don't know, how to, I don't know how to define it. Like, I'm not worried about stuff like that at the end of the day. Um, Sykes vs. Fangs, Gores vs. Gores, Us vs. Beast. Nice. I feel like if we lose a game, like we should, we should keep the, we should keep the series very honest. Is is how I feel about it. Um, I one of the things I hate most. I thought about this before, but like I hate watching like um, any sort of game, like esports, like re regular sports, whatever, like any sort of game, and you can like see the uh, the timer right where it's like, oh, this video is an hour and thirty minutes long, and then things get intense in like the last like hour thirty. Um, and, and like because of the timer and stuff like that, uh, you know who wins. Um, because you're like, oh, if the videos are almost over and this team is one point away from victory and this team is ten points, it's like, well, obviously the ten point team loses this entire game. But you know what I mean? It spoils the result. And, and where I'm going with this, where I'm going with this, is I I don't like um. Like if I won every single Blitzball game on this channel, it'd be super boring. In my opinion, it would be boring. It's like, all right, well, that's Blitzball Mania. He just never loses the game. And if he ever loses the game, he just wouldn't upload it. Like, so what's the point, right? Like, it's, you know, you gotta have that excitement. You gotta have the odds. Like, oh, I, like at this point, I'm recording this, so I don't know. I don't know if I win this league. But, you know, that's what that's what makes it more authentic, right? Take, taking the result at face value and saying, like, that's the result, and we can't change that. So... That's why I don't want to reset the Guado Glories match because I made a mistake, but it's all part of the part of the process, you know. I made a mistake; it affected me, and um, we took the L. But we will win this league, right? Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. That was that was not a good result. <laughs> We're gonna win this league. Yeah. Yeah, I hammer on that a lot. That's gotten a, it's gotten a lot better. Um, like for YouTube, like I think I feel like and maybe I'm generalizing in the past a lot of uploads would be like this is me like playing at my per perfect like you know th this is me playing absolutely perfect and, and there's room for that right like there's room for like uh, like videos where it's like oh yeah like this is someone playing just absolutely insanely perfect they're great they're they're amazing at the game but um, having having videos where people just don't do well it adds the anticipation to it. It really depends on what you're trying to portray. I'm just trying to portray some legitimate competitive blitzball games. That's all I want to portray. Dude, I, I thought we could tie. We're getting slaughtered. Like, I don't know what it is about our formation, but we are getting absolutely rolled. A minute 38 and we're two points down is, is not a scoreline we like to see.
Nefe shoots. Nefe, you are so handsome. Nefe is actually the most handsome after that. Handsome meter at maximum capacity. Give a C-Water Bypass to Vorja. Shammy challenges. Ooh, unable to touch though. That is a shame. You see it past the water bite, but Zeb says not today, Buster. And Shammy gonna push right side. Love to see it. Corkscrew shot is good, should not be intercepted. Question is, will Nizarut stop it? Ah, Nizarut's got the block. Oh, and the pass to Iskin is, is wild. Like, that gets so far into our field, right? Like, our part of the field. That is, uh, or Spear Pool. Like, that is a problem. Gonna see past Nefe. July with the interception is beautiful. I don't know how I feel about the passing with Furry. I feel like I'm one Iskin tackle away from, from getting threatened again on my goal. Yep, I'm one Iskin tackle away from I told you guys. I, I felt that coming on. I'm gonna see Iskin set up Borgia. Ah, that's such a shame. Maybe we got a little bit of ways to go before we can really, really threaten these top tier teams. The thing is, we were doing tournaments and it was great. Like, we were doing so well. Like, I don't even understand, like, how we won some of these matches against some of these competitors. Maybe it's because we only, we only had to face, like, one top tier team. And because it is the Ronso Fang, and we tend to do better against them for some reason. Maybe it's their goalie, but it, it position, I, I don't know. Like, goalie position, play style, I, who knows, but it feels like we um, we play a little bit worse against the beasts here. Okay, big steal. Need a goal, like, pretty soon, because we're two points down. I mean, we might be lucky to get one more goal, let alone two, to be honest. Jamie with the ball, point blank, could get challenged. Ah, she will lose the ball. It's a shame. Maybe I'm, uh, I, I don't want to sound like a quitter. Uh, I think losing this game here might seal our fate. I think losing this game means we don't first place. And it looks, oh, it looks so, it looks so likely, right? Like we are getting absolutely destroyed. So tough. You can see Cole can pass Borgia. And yeah, they are just with, with the whittling of time, uh it's it's GG for us. Oh man, the final insult, an additional goal against us. Come on, Larvi. Have a heart. Four to one, an absolute, you know, absolutely destroyed. Like there's no, there's no way around it. That was absolutely horrendous. That hurt a lot. I mean, what's our next match? Like goers or something? At least we can win that one. Sykes versus Beast, Goers versus us, and Glories versus Fangs. If the Sykes can beat the Beast, I mean, that would just be, that would be something else. I'll take it. Someone needs to. Ooh, Sykes score first, but Beast score right after. A little bit of back and forth here. No defense, all offense. Ooh, Kill could be showing some defense there. I believe that additional goal. Yeah, I don't know the Sykes just wore out, but they are, uh, they're done for. Beast claim another another life. We're gonna overhead against goers. Should max pressure should be easy. Yep, 
it'll be interesting to see how we place. I really thought we'd win this league. I mean, as, as ridiculous as it seems, we were doing so well in the tournaments. I was like, I think we got this. But even if we uh, had pressured the Guado Gories, I, I don't know if it would have mattered. After that Beast game, I mean, it. in the grand scheme of things, it just might not have meant anything. Are we going to tie the goers? What? Dude, we, we got some training to do. We've got some... This is bad. Dude, we've got some training to do. We haven't trained at all because we've won so many tournaments. It's the curse, right? You win every single game that you want to win. So then you don't train because we don't train on wins. Alright, well. At least we, we understand the idea of push comes to shove, so... Ooh, another tie for the Fangs and Glories. That was initially a something I thought would, that would be my salvation. But um, winning every single game here. So put this in perspective. Winning every single game would give us um, 15 points, put us at 20. We have to hope that the Beasts lose like all games and only win two. There's just no way, right? Like mathematically, it's impossible. Sykes versus Goers, Us versus Glories, and Fangs versus Beasts. Let's visual max pressure. I believe. July challenge. Big steal. Very welcome. Ooh, fumble. July claims. I, I, I don't know. Is the fumble worth it or not? I think it is with that pass. I'm always paranoid that like they're gonna fumble, give it to us, and then they're gonna tackle and injure us. You know what I mean? Like kind of like the wombo combo of like we get the ball, but it's 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 cursed. <laughs> Ooh, Ada challenges, big steal, good job, Ada. Nefe though, he is not about Ada's happiness. Oh, I can't quite touch him though, Shammy. Beautiful, might as well been a pass to Shammy. My goodness. The block of the Guado is not to be disrespected. They are they are there to stop us, but their endurance is to be disrespected as Shammy steals, shoots, and scores. Nice. Ugira, long range. Yuma with the interception. Nefe with the ball. Let's go. Zeb pass to Shammy. Okay. Ooh, the interception. I don't really mind that much. We are winning, so it feels pretty good, but let's see if we can continue it. Shammy with the corkscrew shot. Can we stop Gira? Or I guess now Juan? Can we stop any of them? Any of these Guado folk. Looks like Nefe can. Nefe with the challenge, with the steal, with possession of the ball. I 
just I just want to see that 2-0. Again, I, I think first place is out of our reach. I, I truly believe that. Um, in another world where we beat the Glories in the last match, I mean, we can do the math afterwards. I'll see if it would have mattered. I don't think it would have, but we'll see. I mean, we still have games to play. So maybe we win every single game remaining, but ah, even if we do that, I don't know if it's enough. Just don't know if it's enough. Got Pog Guado kind of pushing left. That is the one advantage here. The Guado Glories, they just play so slow, right? Which is not to their advantage when they're behind. When they're ahead in, in goals, it's it's brutal because we're just we're sitting there like, oh man, I really want to score, but they're just they're just chilling, you know, <laughs> they're just chilling. Alright. Shammy challenges, steals. Good job, Shammy. Oh, that's gotta be it. Right, with a minute 12 left, I mean, sure, there's a chance they do something. But, um, it's just, it's, that's, that's insane. Paw's gonna pass to one. Nefe, what you gonna do? Nothing, okay, got it. <laughs> uh, he was looking like he was gonna do something. I thought he was gonna jump in there. Yo Guado gets injured, it doesn't even matter at this point. Like, we've, we've, we've clearly won the game. It's 2-0, now three, uh, it's, it's, it's GG. Just like that, 3-0 final score. Absolutely insane. Now we're gonna see Fangs versus Beast. Should be a Fangs victory. I kinda wanna see a Fangs victory because I really don't want the Beast to get any more points if possible. If we can just limit them to nothing, uh, it would be swell. We've had so many like weird mishaps. I mean, didn't we tie the Sykes in this game or something like that? Or in this league, like it, it's it's been absolutely ridiculous. Well, you have beasts uh, thirteen points, Fangs eleven, Water Glories eleven, us eight. Ah oh, man, we should be so much higher. Like we've made we've tied games we should not have tied for sure. Um, I mean, swapping it if we had beaten the Glories would be third right now with a pretty solid chance at first. Not not favorites, but the solid chance. The leagues are so interesting though. Uh, next is Sykes versus Gorius, Goers versus Beast, us versus Fangs. We gotta win this. We gotta overhead pressure win this. And Sykes versus uh, Gorius, they gotta win, but I, I don't think they can. If they tie, that'd be good. I don't know. They can do anything good. So far, they're behind. Oh, yeah. Once, 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 I feel like once the Gorius get like two points ahead, it's over. You know what I mean? Like, it, it just feels. It feels so doomed. Next is Goers versus Beasts. And this is surely a Beast victory. <laughs> kind of what we expected. Looks like Fangs 1-0. Not a great start. Come on. Max pressure. Believe in ourselves. 
Max pressure, maximum effort. No. They're on offense. No. The two points is a death sentence. It's rough. Oh yeah, this is this is a slaughter now. They're they're cooking now. Yeah, that was like the beast matchup essentially. That was disgusting. I mean, that is nail in the coffin right there. I mean, if we were able to get to 11 points, um still pretty much impossible but <laughs> that was that was something else what well, is gonna be us for Sykes goers for Spangs goers for beasts we can visual here I mean maybe we can get a respectable like placement like third maybe like like we can fight for it right it's gonna be really hard but maybe because we got to knock out the glories or the fangs to do it. Probably going to be the glories, but we'll see. Shammy with the pressure play. She believes. Pressure play. Corkscrew. She is going in. And there it is. That's a 1 0. Pushing left side. Unable to be touched. Nefe will continue forward. Nefe dodges. Nefe passed to Shammy. Oh, Kepo and Noma. Shammy just cannot deal with the pressure. She will lose the ball. That's a shame. It's rough so early on. Like a minute 30 in getting an injury is not what we really wanted. That was not on our bingo card of things we wanted to fill out. Gonna have Keppel pass to Judah. Barrick is injured. Okay. That was a beautiful block. Very much appreciated. Very much appreciated. Chammy, that could have been a beautiful dodge, but you didn't even dodge. If we can just get the tackle on Lake Am, that'd be ideal. Gonna see a pass to Nefe, that's good stuff. Feeling pretty good about this. Pretty good-ish. <laughs> Oh man. Like yeah, being injured is beautiful. Very good for us. I mean, it would be nice to get a second goal to secure the win. It's not critical, as long as we win. But Shammy's going to try right now. 
And she succeeds. Good job, Shani. only a minute left um, they have possession of the ball but uh, ultimately I don't think it matters um, I think we're good I think we take this win the, the problem is these games are must wins you know what I mean like in terms of placement like we're expected to beat the Sykes like there should never be a question on that where we really need to perform I mean not to be critical but where we, where we really need to perform is like the Albed Sykes matchup like or no, not the sorry my brain is actually not functioning uh, is the Ronso Fangs matchup, right? The Ronso Fangs, the glory is the beast. Those we have to turn up for. There should be no question on the goers. No question on Sykes. That should be an auto win. That is a 2-0. That is a win for us, at least for now. Like I said, trying to solidify a third place win if we can, it's uh, it's un it almost feels unlikely. Because the glory should beat the beast, which puts the glories farther out of you know reach for our for our uh, finalizing a win um, in the upper bracket. And the beasts have so many points, like they're just not gonna they're not gonna falter. Maybe a tie is good? I don't know. But we'll see. Two to two. I mean, I kind of prefer the the, the the beast just solidify a win if they're going to win. And and defeat the Glories so the Glories don't get that extra point. But... Oh, no. <laughs> that, puts, that puts the Glories just beyond our reach. Because we can win the next two matches and get six points. Uh, going up to 17. But... If the glory, if the Glorias win either of the matches, it's 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 fourth for us. Ah, that's so tough. Do we face the Glorias? No, I don't think we do. We've already faced them once or twice, sorry. Um, so I don't think we face them again, because that would be the ultimate. Like, because we, I have faith we can beat them again, and that would be the easiest way to solidify a position. Again, third doesn't really matter. Like, first is all that matters. But it's nice to see how high we can push it. All right, well, the goers have to beat the glories <laughs> in order for us to get third. So so, so life is, it's over. Um, that's ridiculous. Then we face the beast overhead. Okay. And then obviously Sykes Fangs, who cares? Let's see if we can overhead against the, the beast and win, I guess. Beat the, <laughs> beat the goers very predictably I might add but let's overhead max pressure defeat the beasts they went 4-2 to us last time or is it 4-1 it was bad it was it was in slaughter they, they start with their goal they get first that's fine it's fine I'm a gentleman I'll give them the first first goal okay you can't have second you can't have second that's just being greedy we get second goal Oh man, we just can't get past Nizarut. This is tough. Four minutes in, no goal yet. Four minutes in, we're bad. 
insane. The one zero the beast take us down again. Not quite as devastating, but not great. That is, I mean, it's not even close. That, that puts us squarely, squarely in fourth. Wait, there is a, there is a, there is a bracket. Uh, there's, there's a line. There's a line between third and fourth in this league, and we are firmly below into fourth. That is, that's just sad. You know, I mean, it, it, it happens. But I really was hoping to show out uh, and um, or show up and, and 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 just be a little bit better. But yeah, Sykes versus Beast, Goers versus Goalie. I mean, this is kind of a funny final match, but sure. A little visual against the Goers. Finish strong, I guess. We do have some training to do, though. Did Sykes just tie the beast? I wasn't paying attention. That's, that's crazy. I think they did. Come on, Shammy, I believe. Yeah, this is this is a win. I mean, it's it's a win, but like, like I talked about it last match, right? This, this is the kind of win where we should auto win against goers and stuff like that. Goers and Sykes, we really got to take on the beast fangs and glories and do better. We didn't do terrible against um, like glories. I think that was a fine match. Um, the beast was rough. I don't know why. Like we just it was. I mean, the last match was a one zero, so it wasn't too bad. But the the first match was like a four two four one. It was it was not even close. Gonna have a big some past the grave. Having two points is kind of it, it kind of it feels like it seals the deal for the most part. Yeah, this is... Every minute's another goal. <laughs> Nearly. We're 3-0 at the three-minute mark. It's crazy.
Four minutes in, three zero still. Kind of a kind of a lackluster finish, <laughs> you know. Like not not a very intense game. <laughs> very chill. It's kind of funny. We do have some training to do, so that'll be important. There it is, 4-0 final score. So let's take a look at the final bracket here, the final, I keep on saying bracket, I'm so used to the tournament play. Uh, let's, let's see how this match goes and we'll take a look at the final points. That's a 1-0 for the Gories, they have, uh, Potentially claim second. That's interesting. Or <laughs> tied for first. That's crazy. So the beasts with first, Glory second, Fangs third with 21, 21, 20. Us with 14 points. Seven points for the Albed Sykes. Two wins over what is surely just the uh, goers. I think Sykes also tied the beast though, which is nuts. Um, that's the final uh, final score. And then, yeah, goers get one tied game. I think against us. That is absolutely insane. We're the top scorer, though. That's 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 something else. All right, cool. I guess we wait, I guess we're the top scorer. Sure. All right. Well, let's go through and recover fatigue, and then we'll do the trainings. So what we do for trainings is we do um, two two like pep talks, if you will. Um, or not pep talk, sorry, two counselings, and then five scrimmages. And if someone gets injured during a scrimmage, they're out. They just they just got unlucky. We'll, we'll catch them next time. That's going to be two counseling, five scrimmages. And ideally, in a perfect world, potentially, just perhaps, this will make a difference. We're still seeing a good amount, well... Uh, it's kind of a mixed bag on level ups. Um, oh, we don't need to level up pain. Choose a goalie. I think there's one more. No injuries. That's crazy. There it is. So we get a little bit more shoot for uh, Shammy. Um, attack, pass. Perfect. That is actually going to wrap us up for today. We might want to consider um, teamwork at one point, but we'll, we won't do that yet. But um, Either way, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And when you come back, we'll be playing more Blitzball, jumping into a tournament, seeing what we can do. Till next time.